another Wiesmann WB1A combination boiler. Uh, this one's 16 years old. I've been looking after this for about 15 years. Um, visual problems with installation and problems with residual pump head for the house. And here is some classic close coupled T's. So these aren't absolutely textbook, but uh, this is quite a good indication of what we can do because this was actually the flow going directly down from the boiler. And this was the return coming directly back. And simply by cutting the little splice out, we've been able to um, bring our return back in, form the loop, and then swing these over to close couple of the T's here. And uh, it's gone in very neatly. So it's a very easy change to do. I've used these um, flat faced unions on the uh, sides of the boiler here, um, rather than the Wiesmann valves. And um, yeah, so we managed to fit a pump in. The customer actually fitted this magna leak. Uh, I didn't fit this uh, filling loop back down there. Um, so this is a traditional, traditional expansion vessel and filling loop. And this makes a great drain off point as well. We're able to run a hose down the stairs here, this is on the third floor and drain down. So when we drain down from this, we drain down absolutely everything down to this level and we can work on everything in the boiler. But uh, yeah, very simple. Um, classic close couple T's. If you do this just once, you can run whatever circuits you want down line of this. So if you had underfloor heating, you'd expect to see two two uh, two unions after this T, one to your underfloor without a pump, and then the radiator circuit with a pump. And there'd need be no further close coupled T's um, off of that system. Simply one to your underfloor with no pump, and the one to the radiators with a pump. So. Very, very simple and I hope that helps.